Hello and welcome back to the very next lecture on lines of regressions. So here we will discuss the second problem of course of a different variety in this topic of lines of regression. So what this problem says, this problem says two lines of regressions are given by this and this. In the earlier problem that we have taken, where we have found out the lines of regression. And here in this problem, lines of regressions are given to you. Okay. So, these are the two lines of regression. If sigma x square is equal to 9, then find the value of mean values of x and y. So, what is the first thing we have to find out? We have to find out x bar and y bar. Right? Second thing, the coefficient of correlation between x and y, that is, small r we have to find out. The standard deviation, sigma y of y we have to find out. And at last, we have to find out values of y, that is, sigma y square. Okay? So these four things we have to find out in this problem. Okay. So let us start with the given thing. So what is given to us here? Here we are given that. I can start from here only. Given. What is it? 8x minus 10y plus 66. I can write this 66 to be 4 here. So, this is equal to minus 66. And second equation, 40x minus 18y is equal to 2, 1, 4. Say this is to be my equation number 1 and this is to be equation number 2. Okay, so what we have done? Just copy down these two equations from the question. Okay. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out mean values of x and y. That is x bar and y bar. And in the very first video lecture on lines of regression. We had written a remark like lines of regression always passes through the mean values. Now these are the lines of regressions. So these are passing through the mean values. What is meaning? The meaning thereby, x bar and y bar satisfies these two equations. Okay, so we just write down one sentence. As lines of regression, as lines of regression always passes through, always passes through, mean values then then what then write down this equation 1 and 2 then mean values x bar and y bar then it satisfies then it satisfies equation 1 and 2 Okay, now we will write it as 8x bar minus 10y bar is equal to minus 66 and the second one is 40x bar minus 18y bar is equal to 214, right? Now these are simultaneous equations and you know how to solve two simultaneous equations, okay? If you want, you can do it manually. If you want, you can do it with the help of calculator. So those who want to know like how the two simultaneous equations can be solved with the help of scientific calculator, they can click on the I section that which is reflected here in this video. And when you click on it, you will get a video lecture where we have seen, we have discussed that how to solve simultaneous equations. Okay. On solving we get, on solving we get, what is it? X bar is equal to 13 and what value of Y we get? 
and y bar is equal to 70. So we got the values of x bar and y bar. So first part is over. Now the second one. What is the second part? Coefficient of correlation. So first of all, I will make use of this. So second thing that we have to find out. Given variance of x, that is sigma square x is 9. This implies sigma x is equal to 3. Okay? Yeah. Now, I would like to write these two equations as equation 1 and 2 can also be written as can also be written as so I will write it as y so take 10y over here x minus 66 to the left so this becomes plus 10y is equal to 8x plus 66 ok so it would be 10y is equal to 8x plus 66, okay, that is, that is, divide by 10, so you would be getting y is equal to, what is it, 8 divided by 10, that's 0.8x, 66 divided by 10, that's 6.6, .6. okay, likewise you can write this equation for x, so this is 40x, is equal to plus 18y plus 214. Right? Now divide this equation by 40. So you would be getting x is equal to 18 divided by 40. That's 0 0.45. 0 0.45y plus 214 divided by 40. So 205 is a 5.5. 3, 5, it should be. Okay. Now we have two equations of lines of regressions which was given to us and we have written it like this. This is 1 and this is 2. And if you remember, we have the lines of regression like y minus something or y is equal to r sigma y by sigma x into x. Okay. So what is this value that is which is attached to x? This value which is attached to x is nothing but the regression coefficient. Okay, so we have we have lines of regressions. So what is this? This point 8 is nothing but the this point 8 is nothing but the regression coefficient of y on x. This 0.45 is also a regression coefficient of x on y. Okay. So I am going to make use of this regression coefficient. Okay. The regression coefficient. The regression coefficient of y on x is what is it? R sigma y by sigma x. And what is x value? 0 0.8. Likewise, you can write the regression coefficient, the regression coefficient of x on y is what is it? R sigma x by sigma y is equal to what is it? 0.45. Now we have two equations. One is this, say equation A, and we have the another equation B. What we want? We want coefficient of correlation R. So what would be my Next step, just multiply this equation A and B, easy. So, equation A into 
equation B implies. So what is my equation A? That's R into sigma y by sigma x into what is this? R sigma x by sigma y is equal to what is this value? 0 0.8 into 0.45. Easy? Okay. Now you can see that this get cancelled with this, this get cancelled with this and we remain with r square is equal to it is. So I am getting r square to be 0.36. So what would be r? Therefore, r is equal to 0.6. So we got the coefficient of correlation as 0.6. So this completes my second now what I need to find out standard deviation sigma y. So what I can do, I can make use of this equation A for third from equation A we have we have what? R sigma y by sigma x is equal to 0.8, right? I have the value of sigma x to be 3, sigma y I have to find out, r I have, so one equation one unknown, ideal condition, so you can put here r that is you can 0.6 into sigma y upon sigma x is 3 is equal to 0.8, okay, when you solve this you will get sigma y sigma y is equal to 0.8 into 3 to 0.4 divided by 0.6 so sigma y comes out to be 4 right this completes my third result that is the standard deviation sigma y of 1 and at last I have to find out variance. Take a square of that, you will get the variance, the fourth one. Variance of y, variance of y, that is sigma y square is equal to 4 square, which is 16. So this completes our fourth requirement. So I hope this problem has been understood by you and I have tried myself that to explain the things as easiest as I can. So this is what we have in this learning video. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning. Thank you.